Hey, how's it going guys? This is Lonator. Welcome to episode 11 of our Pokemon randomized... Whoa, Pokemon Emerald randomized Nuzlocke, I should say. Uh, last episode, we just uh, we were just here in Mauville, you know, taking care of some trainers and also um, just getting a couple of encounters before we take on the gym, which that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this episode. Uh, I forgot that last encounter above Mauville um, last episode, but um, I will take care of that this episode. It's okay. We'll take care of that this time around, but uh, yeah, we're going to be taking on the gym, so hopefully we're going to get our third badge in the home region. So uh, if you guys are excited for today's episode, definitely hit the hell out of that like button for me, because uh, the support is appreciated, and also the interaction with you guys is great. And uh, don't forget to sub so you guys don't miss out on any content whatsoever, because we love to have fun here. So let's get a quick team recap over here. So first we have our starter. We have Koryu the Armaldo, nice and rash nature with that battle armor. You ain't getting critted, son. Who has the? Uh, who's not holding at him? Might have to give him something. With uh, Cut Water Gun, Rock Smash, and Silver Wind. And uh, we have Magby. That uh, we have Tit Duck here with Timid Flame Body. He's got XP share to um, get him leveled up a little bit. With Leer Smog, Ember Fire Punch. We also have our Fero, our Avian, Avian the Fero. Nice and keen eye with relaxed nature. With uh, Peck, Leer, Pursuit, and Fury Attack. But next, we got our Breloom, our Alicia, with uh, Rash Nature with Effect Spore, with uh, Headbutt, Mega Drain, Mock Punch, and Ancient Power. And last but not least, we have our Comex, our War Turtle, which is Torrent, Brave Nature, with Bite, Rapid Spin, Withdrawal, and Water Gun. So, I think it goes without saying that, uh, who the hell's calling me? I don't care, Jill. I do not care. The only time I would ever care about anything you say is... Whatever. Anyways, let's get an encounter up here. Because instantly I always think about it. I thought about it last episode, but uh, it was getting a bit long. So I kind of wanted to wrap it up before I can actually... Uh... It was getting a bit too long for my taste. So what are we going to get? We have a gulpin. I see the Pokeball. We have a gulpin in the PC. That's dupes. That is dupes. That is dupes. That is dupes claws. Oh yeah. That is dupes claws. Let's get a new encounter. Give me something good, man. Whismer. Which, to be fair, if you guys didn't know, Whismer is actually my favorite normal type Pokemon of all time. It's true. Some people don't really like Exploud because, I don't know, they, people just don't see really much just because he's a little bit on the frail side. He's not the bulkiest, but he is he can take some hits. I can honestly say that uh, that um, Whismur can take some hits along with Exploud. I think he can. Shit. How am I going to... How am I going to do damage to this thing? No! <sighs> well, that's that. <sighs> that was super depressing. To be honest, that would have been my final team member. I would have had a team of six. I would have added Wismer to the team instantly. <sighs> oh boy. And a Snorlax is on the field. Let's slow this down a little bit. Let's we'll see if we can take this thing out. Wow. I'm not too happy about that right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty pissed off. I'm 
I'm not gonna lie. That's really annoying. I... <sighs> that have to happen? Like, that's the one thing I absolutely despise about Nuzlocke's. When you run from an encounter by accident, you can't re-encounter and go back to it. It's like, how fair is that? That's not even fair. You just have to forfeit an encounter because you misclicked? It's like, oh my god, that's disgusting. I hate that. Does this guy give me a TM? Well, do you think you probably want to roll too? I can teach one move. Roll out. Okay, yes, I would love to. And comics can. You know what? I'm gonna take off rabbit spin. Because honestly, when I took off bubble, when I took off bubble, I actually felt like I regret that decision. Okay. And by the way, that's another thing I like doing. Some content, some uh, well, not just content creators, but Pokemon players more, perf more especially, um, like to uh, separate their moves a certain way I like going elf I like going uh, by an order of how many letters are in each move it's kind of a weird thing to be honest but that's just how I do it I pretty much uh, clearly pretty much what I do is I uh, I separate it by I separate it by how many letters are in each move just to make like a nice column I like to make a nice neat column of uh, so the words actually go from smallest to biggest just to make it look nice I like making a nice little graph of moves to make it to make it kind of look nice. That's why I put Leer over Smog because uh, it may not look very cool per, per, per se. Like I kind of want Ember and Fire Punch at the top just because they're his stab moves. But what are you gonna do? I actually like I, I actually like it the way his move set looks. So I don't mind. So let's get a Rock Smash going as he leers my defense down. No. The defeats drop! The defense drop! Oh my god, we're calling words differently now. Goose Silver Wind, I'm pretty sure that'll all go. Lower my speed all you want. It's, it's neutral. That's neutral damage. We can take it. Look at that. Lower my speed all you want. Go ahead. Go ahead and do that. I don't care if you wanna do that. Tip Duck level 24. Perfect. Linoon. This Pokemon I'm not too not so hot about. I mean, I'll use him if I catch him, but and he can use Surf, which is kind of nice. He's kind of the Bibberol of uh, third gen, even though Bibberol is a later gen. Other than basically, Linoon is the uh, HM slave of this game. So, so he learns Rock Smash, he learns Strength, he learns Surf, but I mean, he can't learn Waterfall though. So he's not like the perfect HM slave like Bibberol is, but. You know, it's all good. It's all good. I would use Graveler, but... Nah. I like having a Water-type. I like having a Surf on... Okay, so... Believe it or not, yes, we're going to take on the gym in this episode. I really wanted to, last episode. I don't know why I didn't. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take off Tit Duck. I'm going to take him out of there. Because I don't see this as being a very safe environment for him with these two Water-types in the field. Look at that, he tried to rock too. I would have dodged him. Like a champion. Oh god. Oh god. Um. Good. I was just gonna say, I'm kinda not too comfortable keeping Armaldo in. Alright. Okay. Now the gym leader's next, so what we can do... We can go and heal. Gonna, gonna get everybody up to level 25 and then I'm gonna start getting them to level 30. I like to do it in level caps like that. <laughs> Shoutouts to Level Cap Gaming if you guys haven't heard of him. He's a Battlefield uh, YouTuber and I just pretty much just said his channel name in this episode, so... Hey, shameless plug, if you guys like Battlefield, go over to Level Cap Gaming. Shameless, shameless plug. Shoutouts to you, my friend. You're doing very good, very good work. My brother watches you quite vividly, so good for you on the Battlefield content. Anyways, I'm, I can't say I'm a fan of Battlefield myself. That's why I probably don't watch him myself. But he's a good commentator. I've heard a couple of his commentaries, and he's very easy to listen to. So, any you Battlefielders out there, you want to watch some quality content? 
me get this uh, notification off my screen. Alright, let's lead off with Koryu. So the voice I want to give this guy. Hmm. Kind of a low-voiced maniac, kind of. I've carried out my plan to convert the city. I have. And so I put my time into making door traps in my gym. Oh, now what are you doing here? What's that? You say you've gotten past all my rigged doors? Ha 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 ha! Now that is amusing. Then I, Watson, the leader of Marvel Gym, shall electrify you. Bitch, you ain't doing shit. Alright, we got Leader Watson. Arbok. We got this. We got this. We got this. Intimidate? That's fine. Mine, mine, mine. Go for a cut. He's gonna try to flinch me to death. But she succeeds. What the hell was that? I appreciate the crit, but he's just gonna heal, but... Damn, Koryu, let's go. What was that crit for? What was this water gun do? Oh god, please don't. Only thing I don't like about Pokemon is status changes. Stata, uh, stat changes. Or, um, status ailments, I should say. Look at that light above me. That light above me, like... Is it bothersome? Oh, Water Gun, I think, did the same amount of damage. No, it did less. Do you guys ever notice that light above me? This is why I don't like recording with that. Like, I don't rec like recording here, per se. But sitting right there because this is kind of like a three frame couch so I kind of don't like sitting over there I kind of like uh, sitting over there better just because the light isn't as harsh but oh, whatever you need good lighting anyway the lighting's kind of nice in the background so this Arbok is giving us a little trouble here so I'm kind of thinking of uh, switching out which I definitely should tell me War Turtle if I go out to you and start roll out are you gonna die are you gonna fail me? Hmm. Maybe if I go out into Tit Duck, I can fire punch this thing. I'm gonna try it. I may be do, doing a really big risk here by doing this, but. Or he could just flinch me too. I'm gonna go for a rollout. Please don't kill my War Turtle. Please. Now he flinches me. So you know what? I'm just gonna go for the water gun. Don't even worry about it. Plus I'm not going for I'm not going for Ooh. Ooh. 25. So Tit Duck has reached his goal as he wants to learn smokescreen. I'm actually gonna take off Leer because I he's not actually a, a physical attacker, so it's not gonna come with any use. So I'm just going to lower his ac their accuracy instead. Plus it'll look good on the moveset. It'll look good on the moveset. Executor. We are definitely switching out for that. We're going right out into Tit Duck. And if Confusion does too much damage, then I'll go out into my bird, Avian. And uh, peck it. Doom, 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 doom. Alright. Let's move this down here. Move this over here. Like so. Ah! Me. Holy shit! That was so good! That was brilliant! I loved watching every second of that. That was excellent. Wow. You know what? Hand clap to Megby. Hand clap to Megby. That was brilliant. And Apom, you are dying, because you are frail as shit. Bye bye! I'll see you later. Doses. His aces is a dodrio, which I do not want my thing staying in there. Let's do Battle of the Birds. Let's do Avian versus Dodrio. Who is the better flying type? Look at how beautiful Dodrio looks, though, real talk. Damn. Hmm. Hmm. 
to do too much. Okay, this is scaring me already. I think Dodrio wins already. Oh god. I'm burned, that's gonna do nothing. Okay, we're in a bit of a pickle here. I think we might lose someone? I'm trying to be as confident as I can. That tri attack's gonna do so much damage because it's stab and it's physical in this game. Hmm. Who should I go up to? Like, Koryu has battle armor. And I don't want any other status ailment other than paralysis on this thing. Because I'm. I resist it too. You can't crit me either, so. I kind of don't want to heal his paralysis because I know if he does try attack, he's probably going to freeze me or burn me, and I don't want that. Okay, that's the only. It's going to do 12 damage every single time. Let's see how much cut does. Lower my attack, please. That's so annoying. It's the only. That's the only thing I don't like about being paralyzed. That sometimes you just you can't do any damage on it because. This is a s like I'm gonna be silent this entire episode almost because like well obviously I'm talking now but I'm just trying to focus on the match here. Try attack. This is like really annoying. That did 11 damage. That didn't do as much as I thought it would. Citrus barrier? Are you serious? Come on. I'm gonna have to do it. Heal paralysis. Try attack, okay? Don't status heal me, please. That'd be nice. Especially don't freeze me. Thank you. What does Rock Smash do? Please don't burn me. That's my least of my... That's the, like, the biggest worry. Okay, it didn't do anything. Exactly why I clicked Rock Smash, because it lowers his defense. This gym's gonna be like the entire thing because like gym battles you really want to be careful because you don't want to lose anybody. I'm still, f oh, I'm still, I'm still thinking about that Wismer how I ran from it. I hate that man. I didn't want to run from it. I misclicked. I wanted that on my team. Think of how much power an explode would have been. If I encounter that thing again, I swear to God, I'm just gonna toss balls at it. I don't care. Look at Armaldo. He hasn't gotten a single status. I haven't gotten statused once yet. Look at that. Okay, we're going for cut now. Because I feel like it's going to kill from here. Because he's like minus three or minus four. There we go. There we go. That's better. We, be we beat it. Alright. Chief Jessica. Ha 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 ha. Fine, I lost. You ended up giving me a thrill. Take this badge. Thank you. You sure rocked my socks off too. Lo received the Dynamo badge from Wa oh, Watson. With the Dynamo badge, Pokemon can use Rock Smash to battle, and it will make your Pokemon a little bit faster too. Hmm, you should take this too. So yes, TMs are also randomized. So what, what are we getting? Really? Whirlwind? You're gonna randomize Shockwave into Whirlwind? Oh my god. You're disappointing me already, Watson. Well, that's disappointing. Not gonna lie. That's disappointing. Anyway, let's get healed up. So, uh, we're coming around, maybe, we're coming close to 20 minutes of this episode. I think we can, uh, verse a couple trainers before we wrap it up here. 
Who could reverse a couple traders, to be honest? I don't want to end the episode yet. We're only at, like, maybe 18, 19 minutes. It's my favorite kind of Pokemon. Show me how to, how to put a little excitement into my life. <laughs> Come over and I'll really show you some excitement. How did I do that? Don't do that. Kecleon's kind of a cool Pokemon, to be honest. I kind of want to get rid of this, uh... kind of want to get rid of this thing, because it's actually... actually kind of a problem. I'm going to think about it going after my Bagby. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put the, uh... Okay, we good. Let's put the EXP share on comments. Give him get some. Let's uh, give him the Hardstone to power up his ancient powers. And I'll give you. And honestly, there's nothing else. I'm just gonna give you the Silk Scarf to power up Fury Attack. I really don't know what else to give it. You, if I had charcoal, I'd give that to you. But give you the Shell Bell. As for Koryu. There's nothing really I can give this thing. Maybe a berry? Maybe a paralysis berry? Just because paralysis is usually the uh, status that I always get a lot. Alright. So, um, uh, I think we, uh, I'm also going to do a uh, question. I forgot to think about the question of the day. So, let's think of one right now. So, as this bay leaf and swine up come out and get bodied. So, uh,. Let's see. Question of the day. Let's do this. How about this for a question of the day as I body this bay leaf and this lineup? Question of the day will be What is your favorite typing? My favorite typing is what is on the screen on my opposite side, which is grass. I love grass types. That's why my favorite Pokemon of all time is, uh. That's why my favorite Pokemon is actually Torterra. It's one of them. My favorite grass type. My favorite Pokemon of all time is obviously Titar, you see on my logo. So, but yeah. So basically, yeah. So what's your favorite typing in the game? You can go all the way to 6th gen. So for any of you fairy typing uh, favorites out there, if you like favorite fairy types, by all means, say that in the comments. I really don't care. That's fine. We're not going to just stay here in 3rd gen and say, like, what's your favorite th th typing in 3rd gen? Because it's like, any fairy type Pokemon fans are going to be kind of disappointed. Hello, I take it you're a traveler. How's this? What do you say in taking to take you on our family in a, a four in a series of Pokemon battles? Sure. That's the spirit. I like you. Well, you know what? After this battle, you're probably not gonna like me because I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. All right, Strongman Daniel. Nidorina. This thing doesn't really give me much trouble, unless you poison me. No! Oh, get out! Get off my screen, bitch! Get off my screen! I don't want to hear! Oh no, you're not pulling this shit. Get out! Hey all, I found a pretty strong trainer! Oh my goodness, aren't you young? You must be quite the trainer to beat my husband, though. It's my turn to battle now. Alright, I'm just gonna speed up these battles just cause, uh... These ones aren't storyline based or anything like that, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip it. Just I'm just gonna speed it up, just because you know it's not really that relevant of a battle, as you guys probably already know. There's a strong trainer here. This one's really strong. The daughter comes out. I think yeah. You're stronger than mommy. Wow. But I'm strong. I'm strong too. Like really, honestly. Are you really? Like come on. You really, you really spoke to, expect to scare me with your Corsola? Alright, let's go into Alicia. Let's go out into Alicia and Mega Drain this thing. Ooh. First time seeing a Blastoise on the screen. Pretty cool looking Pokemon. 337 XP. Wow. So you guys know that, know that theory, right? 1337? So basically, I've been seeing 1337 everywhere. <laughs> kind of forget what that's referring to, but 
I didn't see the Pokemon on the screen. What's what's up next? Vibrava. Okay, we can take this. Let's uh, let's go for a headbutt. There you go. Alicia's quite strong. All right, strong man Robin. Huh? Did I just lose? I gave her like three voices. I'm sorry if I do. If I if I kind of stink at the voices thing, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to. I'm just kind of doing it off the fly. This stinks. Grandma? How dare you make my granddaughter cry! For that I'm going to smack you! Prepare to lose! Wow. This woman's going off full throttle. In her little kimono outfit. Straw man Rachel. At least she has a freaking girl's name. Hmm. Another swine up. Interesting. You can easily get O-code. Gah! You are strong! My granddaughter was right! If you're not in any hurry, visit us, uh, visit us a while. How about no? How about I just leave? So what are you sitting at? 24? We can make it. We can make it. He's not gonna, he's not gonna faint. Oh, if that freaking Whisper didn't get Oko, I would've been able to train it up next episode. You know how freaking awesome that would've been? Yes, I do have an emotional attachment to Whisper. I do have one. I'm like, uh, what's her name from, uh, X and Y? What's her name? Oh no, this is, uh, that's from Or. She's from Oris, the, uh, Delta episode. Um, Zinnia, I think her name is? Yeah, she's kind of like, um, Zinnia from the Oris, um, the, uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, uh, postgame. Oh, I forget. Uh, that's, that's her name, right? Zinnia? I'm pretty sure. But anyways, uh, enough of that. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys are enjoying this LP like I am, uh, yeah, just uh, let me know in the comments how you're, uh, what's your favorite part so far. And uh, let me know what your favorite typing is in the comments as well. And um, if you guys are, were, uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode, hit the hell out of that like button for me. The uh, support's always appreciated. The interaction, the exposure is great for the channel. And I love interacting with you guys. I really mean it. If you guys are watching and you guys are, uh, sh as long as you guys are here enjoying and having fun with me, with me playing some games, that's all I could ever ask for. But anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much. Take care, guys. <laughs>